one thing I wanted, you brought up Orchard. And now if they're both owned by Sony, I mean, they're doing, let's, I know we say this often, but for any new listeners, music distribution companies all do the same exact thing. There is a, and to, to really make, to break it down in a really, really basic level, all of these streaming platforms are connected to the same highway. And each of these distributors is a toll booth for access onto this highway. There aren't different highways. One isn't faster than the other. One doesn't pay more than the other. Now, the streaming platforms, like, for example, Apple Music pays more per royalty than Spotify, but the distributors don't get a different rate. Spotify doesn't pay distributor A one rate and distributor B a different rate. It's the rate period. So the difference in these streaming platforms is not in the service they provide, typically, in terms of do they get your song on the streaming platforms? It's either a yes or no. Yes, they do, or no, they do not. What's different is how you as an artist are paid and what that distribution company takes from you in order to do that. Um, Now, AWOL takes 15% of the royalties that the artists make. And Orchard, I'm not positive, but my guess is it's also 15% or 10, 15, some sort of number, right? So if these two, co- these two companies, Orchard and AWOL, are now owned by Sony and they're essentially doing exactly the same thing, I'm wondering if one is going to disappear or if they're both going to disappear and now Sony is going to have this new big super... Maybe not like if you're on it, your songs disappear, your login's gone. But I, now Sony has two of essentially the same companies. Maybe they, maybe they leave them the same and just kind of say, yeah, we own these now. But like, I'm thinking maybe they're going to combine them, you know, like some sort of merger. Um, like Sirius and XM were once competitors and now they are just one parent company. I'm wondering if Sony is going to kind of just say, hey, you two were kind of fighting each other. Now you're the same. Boop. I'd be surprised. Um, AWOL stands for artist without a label. <laughs> That's what this always was. That's what it stood for. Sony bought it. So, so now what? <laughs> I, my guess it still works. My guess would be Sony's going to... <laughs> what is it? AWOL is... What's the first A? Artists without a label. Now it's artists with a label. Hey, look. Still fucking works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. My guess would be Sony's going to advertise AWOL as a, hey, you're still an independent artist, but you have the tools of Sony. They're not going to offer anything else. It's just what AWOL offered before. We always told people, use AWOL to look at more data. If That's you're really right. data-driven, AWOL gave you more data. AWOL would tell you, like, how long did people listen to a song? When did they trail off? When did they come back? You could really see more. You could see if a playlist was legit or not because you'd get 0% on how long they listened to on AWOL. AWOL, obviously, these charts were in beta. They still are because this is, like, I don't know how they make it, but Spotify doesn't share this info. So this info was coming from somewhere. And AWOL gave more info than the other distributors. So my guess would be AWOL is still going to be targeted at independent artists and say, have the tools of Sony or have the power of Sony. And Sony's going to pretend that they have some ability to get you in playlist or they're going to use all the same terms that everyone else uses, like early access, verified your Spotify, like, you can do that anywhere, but the goal is to get new people to sign up and take 15% of everything they make without them realizing how much 15% is. Until you realize how much 15% is, you're willing to give it up because it's free.